I am the Jew. Oh crap. My scale's not working anymore. <laughs> to my raw fed dog video. So I promised you guys I would show you how I feed Bubba. I'm not gonna tell you like how much you should be measuring and how much of each ingredient you need to use because that's gonna be dependent on the size of your dog, the type of dog, the activity level of your dog. So for my dog who is high activity level and he's really big, let's show a picture of Bubba. Bubba. Okay, so Bubba, he waits patiently. I trained him to wait here on the carpet while I fix the food. And um, yeah, I'm gonna make this uh, as quick and as painless as possible. I'm gonna show you how, um, just a little time, it's, it's worth to put in feeding your dog raw because he's just gonna be healthier for it. So I put my food processor right on my scale. I turn it on, tear, so I'm at zero, all right? And then I'm gonna start with, I've been doing this for a while, so I get quicker at it. All right, so we're gonna set it to ounces. I'm hit tear, so everything goes to zero. And now, for Bubba's recipe, I use an ounce and a half of broccoli. And if it stops at like 1.6, I'm not freaking out, but I want it to be 1.5. Nice, that's 1.6. Spinach. And what I do is I just look on there and I'll add the spinach until I get to three. Three ounces. All right, I'm gonna do another 1.5, this time of red pepper. And I'll just add until I get to 4.5 on my scale. Bada bang, bada boom. All right, uh, let's put some hemp hearts in there. I have a two tablespoon measure right here. I want four tablespoons. So I'm gonna do a total of two of these spoons, which makes for four tablespoons. All right. I've got some ginger and some sea kelp. And for Bubba, I do a teaspoon of each. Egg, this is how simple it is. Bam, done. All right, um, and that's it for now. I'm gonna put the lid on. Follow me over to the food processor. Done. I'm gonna put this back right on there. I'm gonna zero it out again. Sometimes there's like a straggler spinach leaf that doesn't get ground up. That's okay. I try to keep this, you know, a little bit on the chunky side. Because dogs don't, you know, dogs a lot of times will not chew their food really well. Um, they just tend to gulp their food because dogs are gulpers. They're not chewers like a horse. A horse would chew the food. So they're called chewers. Dogs are gulpers. So I want some of this stuff broke down so it just has more efficacy in his system. We're gonna add some sardine. Three come in a can, I'm just gonna put one in his food. And that equals, again, about an ounce and a half. So I don't put any of the meat stuff in the food processor, that's gonna be added separately. So I've got the sardine. Um, I've got a thawed out pound of ground beef here. Um, I keep my beef in the freezer first for at least 48 hours or longer just to freeze anything that could potentially be living in there. But I think we're, uh, we've never had a problem with it. I'm gonna break that up. If I don't have the time to thaw it in the refrigerator, um, I'll microwave it for like eight or nine minutes for the pound and it thaws everything out without cooking it. Bubba doesn't mind a little bit of frozen. See some of the stuff in the middle still frozen? You know, he loves a little frozen meatball right here. Check this out. You love that, huh, Bubba? It's yummy. Okay, so we got that, we got the sardine. I 
keep these in the freezer. Chicken gizzards and hearts. There's the gizzards. My hearts are in there. These are frozen. I give these to him after we go for a walk sometimes. I'll just give him a frozen gizzard or heart as his little treat. I give him cut up sweet potato. Normally this is an even faster process because I'm not used to making a video and talking while I do this. So even though this is going by rather quickly, um, it'll go by quicker when you are not talking to someone making a video. Um, next we have beef liver. This is going to end up being an ounce, an ounce of beef liver. I keep that in the freezer as well so it could be like little cubes again. Bubba loves this stuff frozen. Good boy, Bubba. Now, some of you might be grossed out. You could use the spatula. I'm a vegetarian, believe it or not. I don't eat a lot of this stuff. I don't eat this beef, but I like to get in there and mush it up for my little guy because he deserves to eat like his ancestor, the wolf. I almost forgot. I need an ounce of kefir. Yeah, I was like mushing it around going, well, wow, that consistency feels totally different. So that is Bubba's food right there. And you're gonna sit there patiently, Bubba. Stay, stay, and lay down. Good boy, lay down. And he's just gonna wait for it. Everything's just easier if I use my hand. Okay, go. So I kept my food processor free from any meats. Um, I just don't like to combine the two. And I'm gonna just wash with some hot soapy water, painting under my fingernails, and uh, there's just really nothing gross when you know that you're doing something good for your dog. So there's some great sites online where you could check out how much you're supposed to feed your dog. Um, you know, you'll know if your dog has a certain allergy to something. If you suspect that he has an allergy to something, remove it from his diet and see if that helps. Introduce it back in if you don't think it's a problem. You could also check with your vet. Most vets won't tell you to feed raw because they want you to keep bringing your dog into the vet. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I hope you guys try the raw diet. Your dog will love you for it. And you'll see an improvement in his performance and mood and attitude and everything. Um, so, peace out.